Hello and welcome in this video for an exercise given during uh, an interview in Cambridge. And in this exercise, you want to solve this equation x cubed plus 5x equals to 42. So if you want to give a try, please pause the video. Otherwise, let's see the solution. There are many ways to solve such an equation. One way is to notice that on the left, you've got x cubed plus 5x. You can factor by x and you will obtain x times x squared plus 5 equals to 42. Well, that means that x could divide 42. Next step is to decompose 42 into 2 times 3 times 7. So now we could write down that x times x squared plus 5 equals to 2 times 3 times 7. So x is equals to 2 or equals to 3 or equals to 7. Let's try with 2. If x equals to 2, then you plug 2 in this equation. 2 times 2 squared plus 5, 4 plus 5, this is 9, and 2 times 9, this is 18. And we would like to end up with 42. So 2 is not valid. Let's try with 3. 3 times 3 squared plus 5. This is 9 plus 5. This is 14. And 3 times 14 equals to 42. So 3 is verifying this equation. Okay, now Next step is to put this 42 on the other side of the equation to end up with an equation equals to 0. And we know that 3 is a root of this equation. So we can factorize by x minus 3. Let's do that. We end up with x minus 3 times x squared plus ax plus b equals to 0. So we don't know the value of b and the value of a, but we know that if we expand negative 3 times b equals to negative 42. So now we end up with b equals to 14. So now let's see the value of a. So we focus on the term with x. So negative 3ax plus bx equals to 5x. That means negative 3a plus so instead of b, you write 14 equals to 5. And you end up with a equals to 3. So now we have got two factors equals to 0. So we know this, and we're going to see these two cases one by one. First case, x minus 3 equals to 0. That means x equals to 3. Second case, x squared plus 3x plus 14 equals to 0. That means this is a second degree equation. We would like to calculate the discriminant. So this is 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 14 and you end up with negative 47. So when the discriminant is below zero, 
that means you've got two complex roots. And you can write down these two roots. This is negative 3 plus or minus i square root of 47 and divided by 2. So this is our three roots. First one, x equals to 3 is a real root. And you've got two complex roots, minus 3 plus or minus i square root of 47 over 2. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next video.